guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline Noel and I post videos every Wednesday on fashion lifestyle beauty natural hair travel just a whole bunch of stuff that I'm interested in so if you're interested in any of those things don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel so we've got a really good video today y'all Black Friday just passed so I am coming to you today with a collective haul of everything that I picked up of course all links will be available down below if you're interested now I hope the lighting's okay I'm trying something a little bit new I'm actually filming at night uh, we're real cozy right now so I hope it looks okay but we got a whole bunch to get through so let's get right into the video okay so we're just gonna go by where I bought the items from so first up we're gonna start with some accessories from Missouri I won't spend too much time on these because I did show them in my most recent vlog if you haven't seen it make sure you go check it out but from Missouri I got three items so during their Black Friday sale I first picked up this J letter pendant necklace I just thought it was really cute and dainty and I wanted a like 14 karat gold slash fine jewelry necklace so I picked this up um I also picked up during their sale this 14 karat gold like serpentine style bracelet I hope you guys can see this coming across on camera again just a really high quality piece of jewelry that I don't have to worry about like taking on and off when I get in the shower or something really easy that I can wear every day and the last piece that I got from Missouri was actually a piece that was gifted to me as part of their um, Black Friday campaign. So I picked up this like crescent dome style ring. I'll try it on for you guys. I'm not usually a ring kind of girl, but this just really stuck out to me. I thought it was really pretty. So here's what it looks like. This is not the 14 karat gold. This is like the gold um, ver vermil, I think it's pronounced. So I would not shower with this one on, but I really think it's just like a good everyday piece of jewelry uh, and would recommend if you guys are interested. Next up, we've got the items that I picked up from Saks Fifth Avenue. Now, I'm not usually a Saks Fifth Avenue kind of girl, but let me put y'all on game. So during their like Black Friday sales, they have a gift card option where like they'll put stuff on sale. And if you spend like $150, you can get, um, I think it's like up to at least a hundred dollar gift card back if you spend a hundred fifty dollars on certain qualifying purchases and actually like Saks Fifth Avenue has tons of like contemporary brands so I picked up first from Saks Fifth Avenue a pair of boots from Sam Edelman I would say Sam Edelman is right around the like mid price point range so I picked up these gorgeous leather black booties from Sam Edelman I actually also have them in white and they were on sale for 140 which I feel like is a great price for a really high quality pair of leather boots these are so cute super crisp because you guys can see i haven't worn them yet but i find these really comfortable i got them in my true size seven and a half and they fit perfectly and then the second item that i got from sex unfortunately was not on sale but december is my birthday month so i wanted to treat myself i have been looking for these lueve sunglasses for a while was gonna wait until i go on a trip later on this month to pick them up but i just decided to grab them from Saks because they were out of stock everywhere and they're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but i love them so i picked up the I think these are called like the Ibiza shades from Lueve. Um, they are black with a red tint. They look a little bit like ski goggles is what I'll say but I feel like they're so freaking cute like they're to me they're like so ugly that they're like cute which probably makes absolutely no sense but I absolutely love these. They have the Lueve detail right here on the side and then they have this little um, I think this is the Lueve monogram and yeah i just thought that these were really cute and i had a gift card so i said you know what let's just grab them so that is what i picked up from Saks fifth avenue this next clothing item is actually from a black owned brand that i was introduced to from i know lee on youtube if you guys do not follow her on youtube she's everything her her sense of fashion is fantastic so definitely go check out her channel so this is from a brand called as i studios they have um different types of cardigans so this is the cardigan that I picked up it is cream and has um, green detailing on the side it's kind of like a old school like varsity sweater so as you guys can see it has this like green I don't know what this like it's like a forest green a print on it which stands for the as I studios and then it has green buttons going down the front of this so I actually picked this up from a website called wolf and badger um, they are like a website for smaller um, independent businesses so that's where I picked this up from but as I studios also has their own website um, it does have ribbing sorry I'm holding this up kind of bad but it has ribbing here at the bottom on the sleeves and then also ribbing at the bottom on the waistband the quality of this sweater is really really great I'm really happy with it again it's in a cream color with the green accents I did get this in a size medium and 
it fits me it fits me almost perfectly i kind of wanted an oversized fit though so i wish i would have gotten a size large but overall i think it's it fits really well and i would def definitely recommend you guys check out as i studios of course support black owned businesses this black owned business in particular has really cute pieces that i think are definitely worth the money all right y'all we are making it through so the next couple pieces that i want to show you are from naked fashion so i was really introduced to naked fashion from i think her channel is called i design eight i know her name is daquan um her youtube channel is again fantastic so i picked up a couple of things from naked fashion while they were having a sale first up are going to be like these gold bulb style earrings very very cute my only like qualm with them is that they're kind of heavy and my ears are going through a thing right now so heavy earrings i'm, I'm kind of trying to avoid but otherwise i really really like these earrings i just wish that they were like traditional that they were regular clip-ons instead of traditional ones because they're just a little bit heavy for my ears i also picked up from naked fashion um this blue turtleneck right here just a pretty standard turtleneck it is a bit oversized and it is long as you guys can see it has um the slits right here on the side i'm sorry y'all showing this is hard so i'm sitting on the floor um but it's a very warm turtleneck i'm very happy with it i did get this in a size small i do tend to size down um, on sweaters because they do tend to run oversized so i got this one size smaller in a size small and just look at the color it's so vibrant which i think is so nice for the fall and winter when most people are wearing neutrals so i was really happy with this one and then the last thing i picked up from naked fashion and my favorite item are actually a pair of boots so i'm gonna scoot back so you guys can see these i got these black knee-high boots y'all these boots are everything now they aren't real leather which you know takes off a, a point or two but they get all their points back because they fit over my calves i've had such a hard time finding knee-high boots that fit over my calves and these are literally perfect like they're not too tight they're not too wide they fit amazing they have um a zipper detail hope you guys can see that right here the heel is not too high to the point where it's uncomfortable i feel like they're comfortable to walk around in and i love them i feel like this is such an easy boot to wear with so many outfits and such a staple in a fall winter wardrobe so definitely happy with these and if you guys are not familiar with naked fashion haven't shopped naked fashion i highly recommend that you guys check it out because one they have a lot of really cute pieces it's kind of expensive when you first look at it but they do run a lot of different sales i feel like pretty often and then their shipping is pretty fast they go through dhl so i got my stuff in maybe like two or three days so if you guys weren't on game before definitely check out naked fashion because they have some really good stuff next up on the list we have another pair of shoes i'm just going to quickly mention these i finally was able to pick these up and i got them in store which was so surprising but i finally got myself a pair of the dunk panda high now i know that nike dunks have been like was popular for the last kind of two years or so and you know they're cute they're not the best shoe ever but i personally do prefer the dunk high as opposed to the low ones so i actually was able to pick these up in store at jd sports i was so shocked y'all and so happy i was able to pay retail price but very happy with these i feel like they go with so many outfits and they're great for just walking around and being casual so these are my nike dunks we've got two more pairs of shoes Honestly, I have a lot more shoes than I thought I did in this haul, but I have two pairs of boots from Express, similar to the Naked Fashion ones. These are knee-high boots that, thank God, fit over my calves. And here they are in all their glory. Let me move back a little bit. They are suede knee-high boots. As you can see, the heel is like, not asymmetric, but it's a little bit of a different heel. It has like a rounded detail right here. I love these boots, y'all. I got them in the Express Black Friday sale, so they were 50% off. So I paid $48 for these. And I got them in a size 8 because they don't run in half sizes and they fit me perfectly. Like I said, they fit over my calf and they do have the little, um, let's see, it'll show up, the zipper detailing right here, which is so great. Um, they're suede, so you got to be careful like with snow and rain and stuff, but otherwise these are fantastic. And I like them so much that I found them in another color inside the store. So of course I had to get them in the chocolate brown because... Brown is one of my favorite colors for the fall and winter. Same type of boot, same detailing, and then also has the zipper on the inside. I would say these are 100% worth your money and I'm pretty sure Express is still running a sale right now. So definitely, definitely go and get these. So I just have one quick item from Zara. I actually kind of tried to force myself not to do like my normal kind of fast fashion store shopping during Black Friday, but I did pick up this one item and it is a 
leather corset from Zara. Um, only thing I really want to say about this is that I did size down. I'm typically a size medium in their tops, but I found that the medium was way too big, so I did size down to a small. It's a pretty standard, like, vegan leather style corset. Has all the buttons down the middle, um, and I paid about $39.90 for this top. Really excited to wear this with, like, a leather blazer layered on top for maybe, like, a date night, date night or a night out with the girls, but this is what I picked up from Zara. All right, y'all. Two more pieces left. So this next piece is from Farfetch. Now, this was my first purchase from Farfetch. Like I said, I was trying not to shop at like the regular kind of fast fashion stores that I shop at so that I'd have a little bit more to kind of splurge on some kind of higher quality things. So I got this dress that I've been looking at from Ghani. Um, if you guys are not familiar with Ghani, they are a, I would say like more of a contemporary type of um, fashion brand. Um, so in my hands, y'all, it does not look like much, admittedly. So you gotta just wait for the cutout, but let me scoot back some more so you can see. This dress is like a knitted halter dress, as you can see by all the strings. So if I hold it up in the front, you can see, it looks like just a black blob, y'all. But it is so gorgeous. It has this knitting detail, which I hope that you guys can see. It's a little bit see-through. Y'all, this is a fail. I'm sorry, this is such a fail. But I'll just pop it up in the, in the try-on. Um, it is a what I would consider like maxi length on me because I'm shorter. So as you guys can see in the cutaway, it is a halter dress with a very deep open back, which I absolutely love. In the back, also you can see it has these silver buttons that hit right where the cutaway, or like the um, where the dress kind of cuts away at the bottom. So sexy. Like this is a perfect summertime dress you could wear this as a cover up to the beach you could honestly wear it, like if you have some fashion tape underneath you could just wear it as a regular dress for like a date night or something like that this is clearly like a summertime piece i definitely would not wear this right now because it's freezing but i was able to pick this up because farfetch was doing an additional 20 percent off their sale item so i was able to grab this i absolutely love it i do not regret this purchase one bit i did size down to a size small because of the material it does run i would say pretty big so if you're interested in this piece you definitely can go down one size and it should fit you perfectly all right you guys so last but not least we have a purchase from aritzia which i'm not even going to try to hold it up like i just did with the ghani dress because it's not going to look good in my hands but i'll pop it up on the screen so it is the tabloid leather trench from aritzia this jacket y'all is everything now i said this in my tiktok about this jacket and i'll say it here as well it is definitely overpriced for vegan leather this jacket full price is like 260 which is way way too much and honestly i only got like 20 dollars off of it so i definitely overpaid but i just think the color of this jacket is really what drew me in it's like a cognac brown color and it's so gorgeous i did get this in a size small because it does run oversized i am usually always a medium in jackets and sometimes even a large if I want to go more oversized but I found that this jacket did run very big very big excuse me y'all um so I did go down to a size small and I just think like this is a perfect jacket for the fall now depending on where you live you could probably get away with this in the winter but like if you're somewhere cold like me kind of around Chicago it is not double lined or like um it doesn't have any down on the inside so unless you're wearing a very thick sweater underneath and like a scarf and gloves you are going to get cold in this jacket if it's really cold outside but like for the fall i think that this jacket is absolutely perfect the only kind of thing that i don't love about it is that because i'm shorter it hits me at a little bit of an awkward length i wish it hit me like right at my knee but otherwise i absolutely love this jacket just keep in mind that it is in my opinion a little bit overpriced and you'll probably find some other alternatives in other places like you can find probably something similar at a thrift store or at other retailers but i'm still a fan of the jacket i do not regret the purchase at all and i think she is so cute all right you guys so if you have stuck around this long i appreciate you thank you so much for watching my collective haul i hope that you guys enjoyed all the pieces definitely comment down below which one was your favorite which one you're thinking about buying and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like as well subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time